Welcome to the Host with Confidence podcast. I am Becky Guzak, here to empower the hesitant host to entertain with confidence and ease. I'll be sharing stories, strategies, and inspiration on how to take out the stress and boost up the joy of welcoming guests into your home. Okay, let's get started. Welcome. Summer is the perfect time to get outdoors and connect with others. There are so many more activities available this time of year that can make great memories, strengthen relationships, shake up our routine, and add more adventure and joy to our lives. From farmer's markets to concerts or just enjoying lunch outside with coworkers, I hope this episode inspires you to get outside and build relationships. As I've been thinking about this episode, I came across a podcast by Mel Robbins titled, Five Fun Ideas to Shake Up Your Life and Get Out of a Rut. In summary, she created a game called Never Been There, Never Done That. She describes that there is science and research that says when we have something to look forward to, we get two boosts to our mood and energy. First, from the planning, the anticipation. The second positive effect on mood and energy comes from the doing. And I would add there's a third boost if the experience was positive, as there would be joy in the reflecting on the fond memories and sharing stories about that experience. Mel Robbins starts by suggesting we make a bucket list of things we've never done or places we've never been in our own neighborhoods, towns, or cities. Basically, things we overlook in our own backyards. This doesn't cost anything, and science shows that simply putting a plan in place can bring more excitement to our lives just by making the list. Then, as we start checking things off on our lists, we shake things up to our everyday routines, and we enjoy more purpose, adventure, and fulfillment. There's more to her podcast, but that summary is what resonated for me. I'll put a link to her episode in the show notes. Her bucket list approach got me thinking about a great way to start connecting outdoors over summer activities is to rally a friend or two for a brainstorming session. It can be over a walk, a call, at your home, or meeting at a coffee shop, a bar, or restaurant. Some of my fondest memories have come from these in-person, quote, planning meetings. The point is, you can make your own lists and plans, but it can be more fun and creative to do it with a partner or two. And how you do this depends on your style. Are you the type of person who likes to make handwritten lists? Do you like spreadsheets? Or do you prefer to provide ideas and let someone else organize them? Do it in whatever way best serves and motivates you. I love brainstorming because there's no judgment around the ideas in the first round. It's just a starting place to get creative. You can start with what comes to mind and or research online for inspiration and outdoor activities in your area. Think about who you want to connect with. Maybe it's just yourself or your partner, a family member, family members, old friends, new friends, work friends, or neighbors. From there, you can go back and prioritize ideas to the top or cross things off based on your schedule, logistics, time, location, cost, and resources needed. Then consider the fun factor, the ease, and who would you want to invite to do an activity with? When I went through this exercise, I came up with a bunch of ideas and then grouped them into categories. I'll go through suggestions to get you thinking, not to overwhelm. Even if you can do just one or two new adventures this summer, that's a win. The first category includes community events such as outdoor festivals, movie nights, fairs, concerts, and farmer's markets. I was told about how a group of friends enjoy meeting at a different neighborhood farmer's market about a couple times a month. They wander the market together, then pair up in teams of two or three, randomly pick out of a hat, appetizer, main dish, veggies, and dessert, shop for the items, then head over to one of their homes, cook or assemble together, and enjoy the meal. I love this idea. But even just meeting a person or a few for a couple of hours at a farmer's market and enjoying purchased treats together outside is a fun adventure. Along the culinary lines, foraging for berries or you pick berry fields and fruit tree farms can be really fun. You could just head to one and enjoy that experience or extend it, go back to one of your homes and make something with what you picked. Think jams, sauces, preserves, cobblers, purees for ice cream, for cocktails or mocktails. Another category is outdoor exercise. You could do an outdoor yoga or workout class. 
or nature walks and hiking. You can discover new parks, trails, or maybe even a waterfall in your area. Check out a public garden with friends. Or how about some water time? Local lakes, rivers, beaches with a picnic? Swimming, fishing, paddleboarding, kayaking, rent a canoe, electric boat, or take a ferry ride if you're available in your area. If you're a dog person, meet at a dog park. Bike with a friend or a group to a spot you haven't been to before and stop for lunch or coffee. And the last category is around meeting at a restaurant, bar, coffee shop, winery, or beer tasting that has outdoor seating. These are the most obvious categories. The possibilities are endless. I hope this has inspired you to take the time to plan an adventure with others that celebrates the season of being able to enjoy the longer days and outdoors together. And finally, I love hearing from you. If you have any topic suggestions, questions, or stories, please go to our website at hostwithconfidencepodcast.com. Thank you for tuning into this episode of the Host with Confidence podcast. I hope you found inspiration and valuable insights to help you along your hosting journey. Please remember that the key to hosting with confidence is all about embracing your unique style, having a plan, and enjoying the process alongside your guests. If you like this episode, please subscribe, rate, and review on your favorite platform. Your feedback and support are greatly appreciated and helps us build a stronger community. Gotcha.